Andrew Jackson High School students faced extra security today after a teen was shot outside the school. News 4 Jax obtained the 911 call. The student was shot um, outside the school and they brought him in the front office. The 17-year-old injured in the shooting is expected to recover, according to JSO. News for Jackson Water Corley Peel joining us live outside <clears throat> the school after speaking with students and parents there. Corley? Ken, school dismissal looked a lot different compared to yesterday. Everyone was safe, and we have seen a lot of police outside the school all day today. And if you take a look down there, you can see the Crime Stopper sign that is now a place in the area where that teen was shot yesterday. And I spoke with students who say that they felt fine coming back to school with all the extra security. However, some parents chose to keep their students at home. That's the address of the emergency. This is Andrew Jackson High School. That 911 call was made during dismissal after a 17 year old was shot outside Andrew Jackson High School on Wednesday. The student he was shot um, outside the school and they brought him in the front office. Is the one who shot him still nearby? I have no idea. Students were met with more officers and bag checks as they returned to school on Thursday. It was kind of like down today, like. Like the, like the whole school was sad and just shocked. Oh, yeah. And you notice more security. What kind of more detectives are searching for a light colored SUV that was involved in the drive by shooting outside the school? Police say someone shot the teen as he was walking on the sidewalk. Students, parents, and neighbors heard the gunshots. Well, I heard the shots, multiple shots, and I knew they were not firecrackers. I observed the children running in fear. Uh, it was chaotic. The parents were in fear and afraid. The teen is expected to be okay. His friends at school hoping he recovers soon. What's he like? Um, he's an amazing person. He's really funny. He's a good friend. He's good. he's overprotective. You know, what would you want him to know? What I would want him to know is that we waiting on him and I hope he's okay. District police say they do plan to have upgraded security here at the school for the foreseeable future. I'm also told that Cure Violence plans to be out here in front of the school tomorrow at 3 p.m. to bring awareness to the violence that's been happening. Now, at this time, no arrests have been made and no suspects have been named. So if you know anything, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers or police. Now coming up tonight at six, we will hear from a parent who says he felt okay sending his son back to school today. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.